Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. I got so many requests for this lab because this lab is just recently updated and because of that task number 2 is not working properly. But in this video I am going to show you the simplest way and I will tell you how can you complete the task number 2 as well. So first of all just really log into your credentials and once you're done with that, now in the description box of this video I will share one github link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file. Now first of all what you do, you have to just me open this link in incognito window. So just me open like this way, wait for a second. Okay, so it's done now. Now here you can see import prompt. Before that what you do, you have to just me download all these three files. So just me click on this and make sure that you have to open this thing in new tab. Like this way. So just me open like this way. Now just me come back over here and then just me click on this download button for all these three files. Just me click over here like this way. And it's downloaded now just me come back over here click on this import prompt then click on this browse option and then here you can see symbol product analysis.json file this file you have to just upload over here this is a file for the task number one so just me click on this upload over here now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what we will do we will perform the task number two manually because if we try to complete the task number two the way we complete the task number one we won't get a score at this time so what you have to do again you have to just me come back over here again just me open this link in incognito window like this way again it will open the same prompt over here now just me click on this create prompt over here and from here just me choose the free form just me choose this option over here now the three changes that you have to do first of all first of all you have to just me change the name for that come back to the lab instructions and just me scroll down you can just me get a name from the class number two just me scroll down and from here you can see just me copy this name carefully copy like this and do not copy this last full stop copy that come back over here and replace over here like this way now for the model name just me come back over here and from here you can see Gemini 1.5 Pro so just me choose that model over here like this way so this is a second change now here you can see region for me the given region is US central one from here you can see if it's for you the same then you can just me continue with the same one otherwise you can just me change according to the lab instruction page now just me scroll down and from here you can see output format from here just me choose a JSON like this way so we have done this this and these three changes now what you do again come back over to the github repo scroll down and from here just me copy this code copy that come back over here click on this edit button over here and just me paste over here like this way and then click on this apply button so it's done now just me click on this add examples over here like this way now for the input just me scroll down from here just me copy this input and paste over here like this way now for the output copy this output and paste over here like this way now again do the same thing copy this input come back over here and paste now for the output copy this output come back over here and paste and then click on this add example over here so we are done with this thing and example thing also now just me click on this test input over here just me click over here now for the input just me copy this thing come back over here and paste so now you are done with all the configuration now just me click on this hit enter button like this way it will take a couple of seconds and it's done make sure that your model must be Gemini 1.5 Pro and the output format must be JSON now just me click on this save button over here and then click on this save button like this way just me wait and it's done okay if after saving your file if you are getting the output format like a plain text no need to worry about that just make sure that before saving it must be json okay now it's done now if you just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number two you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated immediately no need to worry just may wait for a couple of minutes or you can just may continue with the task number three and task number four now task number three and task number four is very easy what you do just may come back over here and click on this workbench over here now just may wait Now here you can see open Jupyter lab. If you are not able to find this instance, you can just me click on this user managed notebook. So just me click over here. Now it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. So just me wait for that. And it's finally done now. Now just me click on this upload button over here and from here just me upload these two files. Image analysis and tagline generator. So just me open these two files and click on this open over here. Now just me wait. 
so as you can see tagline generator file is loaded now just need double click over here this file is very easy you don't have to make any other changes on this particular file just make sure that if you're using a jupyter notebook for the first time so for running a shell you can just make click on this play button over here but make sure that before running any particular shell your kernel status must be ideal now just make click over here now in future if you are able to find the kernel as a python 3 then you can just simply use that otherwise you can just make continue with this python also just simply select this and then click on this select again make sure that your kernel status must be ideal as you can see just simply wait and now it's ideal now just simply click on this play button over here like this way and once you click over here as you can see now it's busy so just simply wait until it shows the ideal So now it's ideal now again just may click on this play button over here like this way once you click over here then this command will run okay now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what we'll do we will open this image analysis file so just may double click over here like this way now what you do on the image analysis file you have to make one change just may come back over here and from here just may copy this project id copy like this come back over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see project id so just simply replace this project id with your current project id so just me copy like this way and replace okay so it's done now for the location in future if you are able to find a different region over here that time you can just simply replace that otherwise you can just may continue with the default one now just me scroll up then click over here again make sure that before running as your shell your kernel must be python or python 3 and your kernel status must be ideal okay now just me click on this play button over here like this way and just me wait until it shows the ideal and it's ideal now now again click on this play button over here like this way now this shell is running okay now if we just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for both the tasks you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just me come back over here and from here you can see after running both the shell we didn't get a output over here if you are not get a output that's the reason the score is not updated over here okay so as you can see output is loading if we just may come back to this file over here and if we just may scroll down for this particular file we got output now just may wait over here and for here also we are getting output okay sometime it might take time but once you get output over here then you will get a score on the last two tasks 100 percent so as you can see i got a score if you are not able to get a score just simply wait until you get output over here and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys